Hey Lou, some of you may recall that this past summer, St. Louis Health Department Director Pam Walker vowed to ban horse-drawn carriages in downtown St. Louis after an incident near City Museum with a horse named Moose. And now we've been told that InBev is canning the Clydesdales in order to appeal to the legions of craft beer drinking millennials who have never even tried a Budweiser. So 2014 has not been a good year for horses in St. Louis. We even did a sketch about unemployed horses last July. Well, if you're willing to wear a suit, I could probably get you a stint as a zebra at the zoo. Since the Clydesdales are like family to most of us here in St. Louis, we decided to pose the question, what if the Clydesdales were people? Okay, okay. so Kay, we have the Collingers, the Schultzes, and the O'Connell. I think we forgot the Kapikas. I don't nope, see them here. I got them. By the way, the Clydesdales won't be coming to the holiday party this year. Are you kidding me? They've been coming since the beginning of time. Oh, I know, but they won't be coming this year. They both lost their jobs. Bud fired them. What a jerk. Right before the holidays? I know, I right before the holidays. And get this, Bud was seen at a local bar flirting with someone in her 20s. Oh, he loves that young blood. He's been so corporate lately, you know? I know, I heard he's been drinking a lot. He always drank a lot. He's well, Bud. Anyway, the Clydesdales won't be coming to the party. It's just not going to be the he same. treated them like such animals. Who? You know? Bud, he treated the Clydesdales like animals. It was so wrong. Well, get it out of your system now because Bud's definitely going to be at the party. Why don't we just not invite him? What? He's the one who brings the beer! December is one of the best months in St. Louis for free things to do with the family. In addition to the events Anina will cover right now, she has a very special one that will follow. Here's Anina with Free St. Louis. Hey St. Louis! There's a lot of free stuff going on this week in St. Louis. First off this Friday from 7.15 to 10 p.m. at Hydraulic Pictures on Cherokee Street is the Cherokee Print League Holiday Preview Party. There will be free beer provided by Schlafly, snacks, music by DJ Makosa, also one-of-a-kind limited edition buttons from buttonmakers.net, and a collaborative art project by you. And on Saturday, join Cherokee Street from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the 7th Annual Cherokee Print League Holiday Sale. Also on Saturday at 8 p.m. is Brother Lazaroth's 4th Annual Hanukkah Hullabaloo at the new Create Space in the Loop. Randy and Jeff Fines of STL Style will be presenting the show and will have Hanukkah and STL themed apparel on hand. Also on Saturday, from 10 to 4 at the Regional Arts Commission is the Archery Craft Show. This show is an exceptional art and craft boutique featuring handmade goods created by over 30 local St. Louis artists. If you need even more places to buy holiday gifts, there are two winter markets this Saturday. The first is from 11 to 4 at the Greg Freeman Park. This is a German-style outdoor festival and craft show called Winter Market. There is also a Winter Farmer's Market from 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Schlafly Bottle Works. Lastly, every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Main Street in St. Charles is St. Charles Christmas Traditions. You can celebrate the event's 40th anniversary with Santas of the World and more than 40 Legends of Christmas characters, pitch-perfect Victorian carolers, and stockings full of things to do and see. Have a fun and free week, St. Louis, and have a great holiday season. And as promised, Anina has a special freebie for St. Louis, and she was visited recently by one of Santa's elves to tell us about it. You know, this is my first year working for Santa. I'm working for Santa at the Chase Park Plaza. And this year, we're initiating a holiday extravaganza, and it kicks off on Wednesday the 3rd with Santa's arrival. Oh, so I'll be there. That's exciting. What else is going to be at this extravaganza? Well, at the extravaganza at 5 o'clock, Santa uh, will arrive by horse-drawn carriage with Mrs. Claus. And then we're going to offer free carriage rides, free pictures with Santa, hot chocolate, uh, cookies. Our cookies here are provided by our brand new pastry chef. And our pastry chef, oh Thank yes, you. oh you're very welcome, you're very welcome. Yes, take two.
December is also a great month to win tickets from On STL. We give away tickets every day on our Facebook page, along with other great St. Louis prizes. Let's check in with Grant to see what you could win in the next week alone. Thanks, Sherry. We're giving away tickets to too many St. Louis favorites in the coming week, including two tickets to the fabulous Fox Theater to see A Christmas Carol on Friday, December 12th at 7.30 p.m. We also have two pairs of tickets to see A Christmas Story at the Fox on Tuesday, December 16th coming up. And we'll be giving away two pairs of tickets to see Circus Flora and the St. Louis Symphony perform A Winter Fable on Friday night, December 12th. Wait, we're not done yet. We're also giving away tickets to see The Acrobats of China at Lindenwood University Scheidegger Center for the Arts in St. Charles on Saturday, December 13th, along with a $50 gift card to Tucano's Brazilian Grill nearby. And we'll be giving away many free passes to Santa's Magical Kingdom in Eureka near Six Flags. All of these giveaways will be posted on our Facebook page with a new contest every day, so you'll have many, many chances to win. Back to you, Sherry. By the way, Grant didn't have time to name everything we're giving away this week, so be sure to check our Facebook page or our website daily to see what's being given away. Now let's check in with Cat Muse for Where the Good Music Is This Week in St. Louis. Friday, get your blues on with the St. Louis legend Bud Summers. He's playing in the engine room at Ferraro's. And get your soul right with the Bible Belt Sinners. Molly Sims and her killer band are rocking the gramophone. And Saturday, if you like the Almond Brothers, you will love the brothers. An awesome tribute band doing their thing at the pageant. And at Pops, we've got the Sticks Grand Illusion Tribute Band. This is an awesome show. You don't want to miss it. They sound better than the original 80s band, believe it or not. Mile 277, Patty Bush. The owner of Doc's Harley Davidson has hosted many events over the years for the motorcycle community, and now it's time for a party in her honor. Thunder Roads is throwing a big party at Mile 277. You ought to check that out. And Sunday, 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 Joe Mancuso is hosting a common time, a Christmas show at the Duck Room. Lunar Levitation is a special guest, and all the proceeds go to benefit the 100 neediest cases in association with the United Way. It's an all-ages show. Children under 12 are free, and it's from 5 to 8 at the Duck Room. Get out and support local music and have a great weekend. Today's music is Love is Here to Stay by Joe Mancuso, who will be appearing in the Duck Room at Blueberry Hill this Sunday. Doors open early at 4 p.m. Show starts at 5 p.m. with special guest Lunar Levitation. Have a great weekend, St. Louis.